A plea for compassion tonight as the General Assembly is gridlocked on whether to legalize medical marijuana. Yeah, the Senate just voted today on another bill that would do that, but it may go nowhere in the House. Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live for us in Raleigh with a closer look at why that is. And today we heard from Republican Senator Bill Rabin, who's a cancer survivor, speaking more forcefully than we ever have about why he thinks this needs to be legalized and going after some of the people who have been blocking this. He says he thinks he would have died if he did not get access to marijuana and use it illegally while he was undergoing his cancer treatments. The Senate already passed a bill last year that would legalize medical marijuana, but with no action in the House, the Senate has now linked that bill with another one that includes a variety of drug regulations that the House wants. Among them, it would also ban Kratom and Tyaneptine, which is known as gas station heroin. Senator Rabin said sick people who could use marijuana are dying, but opponents say this should not be lumped in with an effort to ban other drugs. I want to know where the compassion in this room is. I want to know, because I'm not seeing it. It's ridiculous, people. It's absolutely ridiculous. What are we doing here? We are banning drugs that harm but paving the way for the legalization of smoke marijuana, which numerous scientific studies have said is harmful. This is happening as the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians have opened a medical marijuana dispensary on tribal land and will move forward with allowing recreational use later this summer. The Senate voted in favor of this bill 33 to 9 today, but we'll have to take another vote on it next week before it heads over to the House. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. All right. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Michael, thank you.